What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Blaze up in this bitch. Homie. And, um, I want to talk about ABK real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did a back in, fuck, I want to say like four or five months ago when that drive by. When that drive-by concert was going on with him and Blaze, I remember saying ABK is going to end up, end up leaving, but not the same way that everybody else does, because we all know that um, Jay, which is the main face of Psychopathic, and Monoxide, which is the main face of m &E, aren't seeing eye to eye, you know? And they cut ties with each other a long time ago, and they said it publicly. So, I said that ABK is going to be moving to m &E. Slowly, but surely, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to move. He's not going to move in the way that a lot of people see people move because of beef. But he's just going to be associating with them a little here, a little there, a little here. Until maybe, until maybe Jay decides to kick him out. You know. Which is what I've been seeing because ABK hasn't been. He didn't go to the march. He did not do that fucking video shoot for the fucking, uh, <clears throat> for the Juggalo Love Fucking the one that they did in Ohio, I believe it was. Um, and he's been missing a lot of psychopathic events. And then what people what people got what got everybody riled up is that ABK is starting to do M and E events. So this goes back to what I said. I mean, I think he wants to leave. But he doesn't want all the hate to be attached with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand. I understand that there's a lot of uh, hate towards Boondocks. And there's a lot of hate towards Blaze. Well, maybe not Blaze since he was basically in Twisted's crew, right? But as far as the psychopathic or the former psychopathic artist that moved to m and &E, there's been a lot of hate towards them, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, who they, who they're loyal to. Now, IBK has been showing that same shade, but he's not going to leave, you know what I'm saying. Like I said back then, he's going to wait till he gets kicked the fuck out. Because I do not believe that Jay's going to stand for all this flip-flop shit, you know what I'm saying. Especially when they already announced publicly that these motherfuckers are severing ties. They ain't fucking with each other no more. <sighs> so I got this idea from from Carnival Spirits, from Cali. You know what I'm saying? Whoop we'll, whoop we'll to that motherfucker. Whoop we'll whoop to everybody in motherfucking uh, Carnival Spirits. Beastmaster, every motherfucker up in there. Mike and Hoes, Snaps, we got Brooklyn Menace, got Scotty, you know what I'm saying? All the motherfuckers. So, I was watching the video and I remember seeing this shit way back when, where, this, where the drive-by fucking concerts were going on. And I was telling y'all that ABK is going to leave. But it's not going to be, it's not going to be on his own terms. He doesn't want to be that dude that flips sides on y'all. So he's going to wait till people start getting tired of seeing this motherfucker at m and &E events and not coming to psychopathic events. Which is, which is probably what happened, man. I believe, well, this is just my speculation. Maybe it was that ever since that drive-by tour, they just didn't see him as a, as a ride or die motherfucker no more. They saw him as a flipper, as a flip the rat, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. <coughs> so I do not think this motherfucker's going to stay here long. 
he's going to be gone. By this time next year, I wouldn't be surprised to see ABK on m &E. Not because he left, because they dropped him. And why did they drop him? For his affiliations. So it's your homeboy Blaze. Dropping my two cents in this bitch. I'm that motherfucking motherfucker. Peace.